Hi, my name is Dave Johansson. I'm one of the owners of Blossom Hill Crafts Pottery School. Um, this video is our July Pottery Challenge and it is Scrafito and Mishima. I sure hope I'm saying that right. Sometimes I get those words wrong. Anyways, um, Scrafito is essentially um, uh, putting slip on the outside of a pot and then carving that slip away. And here's just a little Scrafito pot that I did. And, you know, this isn't actually something I do a lot. Uh, so I'm far from, you know, the, the person that you really want to, uh, <laughs> you know, take everything I say. But I can get you started. Here's like a little flower I put on the outside of a pot. That's Scrafito. And Mishima is inlaying clay. So um, I basically carved a design into this pot and then put slip on it and then scrape the slip away so the slip is inlaid. Slip is essentially colored clay. Um, it's liquid clay that has uh, stains in it to give it a color and if you go into our studio we have probably 15 different colors of slip. Uh, they're all in our hand building room. If you're watching this and you're not a Blossom Hill Crafts potter uh, send me an email and I'd be happy to send you our recipe for slips. Um, so I've uh, got one started here. I started just carving a flower. I don't know how well you can see that right there. And I'm going to finish carving the last petal on this flower and do some detail in it so you can see. But maybe before I start that, just randomly here on the cup, I've, I've just got a small, uh, a small carving tool. And we do sell these. Uh, you know, we get them from Clay Planet. You can order directly from them too. Um, you know, I just have some small little carving tools that I'm using and uh, this little round one, I'm hoping you can see it in the video. I really like this when I'm trying to do Scrafito. It, it allows me to, uh, to make all kinds of lines. You know, I'm just kind of randomly making lines here. But if you just pay attention to how you use the edge, you can really, you know, you can get a fine line. If you want, you can get something that really uh, uh, really goes for it. Um, so um, I'm going to actually work on a pot that's a little wetter. That one got a little dry on me. But yeah, let's just come over here and you can kind of see, you know, I mean, you really can. I'm hoping you're able to see what I'm doing here. Right? I mean, or just a little fine line. A thick line. There's so much just by the way that you hold the tool and you move it. So anyways, I'm just going to finish this uh, this little leaf pattern here. And um, like I said, I'm, I am not um, super fantastic at this. I'm really hoping you can see this um, and that my hand isn't just in the way. Sometimes these things are, uh, you know, really hard to see. So um, I'm now I'm going to go and put some just kind of thinner lines in here, just kind of some detailed thinner lines. Maybe give the flower a stem. Could give it a little leaf if we wanted to. I mean, you get the idea. So that's Scrafito. Essentially, what I did was I took the pot that I made. I When it was leather hard, I set it on the potter's wheel. I took some slip. I took a brush and I just brushed the slip on and I waited until the slip got dry. Um, not bone dry, but dry. You don't want to work with it wet. And once you have some dry slip on there, uh, you can just start, uh, I think that's the flower I just made. You can just start, uh, you know, carving away on it and, you know, removing the slip. So now here is exactly the opposite. I don't know if you can see, I've already carved a flower into the side of this piece of clay. So this is just a piece of raw clay that I carved a flower in on the side of. And now I'm going to take uh, some colored slip 
and I'm going to paint it on there. So here's our slip and I'm loading up my brush and I'm just going to paint it over the top. Just like that. Now if I go over to the other side here, I have the exact same flower design that I uh, painted with slip earlier. And so what I'm going to do, and you can kind of see I half did it, I'm going to come with a scraper and I'm going to scrape that layer of black slip off. Now you can't do this if the clay is the, the slip is too wet so make sure that you really kind of wait and let it get dry but as you can see I'm beginning to get that inlaid flower So there is an inlaid flower and I could spend a lot more time and get rid of all of that clay but I'm not going to do that now. There's an inlaid flower and there uh, there's a sgraffito flower. So that I can you know the exact same thing or reasonably the same thing but uh, done with a different technique. So uh, that's sgraffito and Mishima. Again, you're going to throw a pot. You're going to let it get um, fairly dry. I mean, you, you, you don't want the clay on the outside to be super wet. Then you're going to put colored slip on it. Just center it back on a wheel, spin it around, and put slip on it with a brush. Um, you can use any color that you want. And then you can carve it away if you want to do sgraffito. Or carve away the clay. Um, when the clay is raw and then put clay over it and scrape the colored scrape the slip slip away put slip on it and there you go you've got Mishima um, so I'm Dave Johansson this is Blossom Hill Crafts and here's the July challenge uh, I hope you all take it have a great day bye